Hello everyone, this is Sonam. Today we will discuss about how to create your fast flow in Power Automate. In our first video, we have discussed what is Power Automate, advantages of Power Automate and licensing and pricing and how to access the Power Automate via mobile app and also Office 365. In this video, we will discuss how to create your fast flow. Before that, first we will see what are the types of flow, create your fast flow, turn off a flow and share a flow to the another user. So first we will discuss what are the types of flow that are available in Power Automate. We can build a flow by three different way that is automated cloud flow, instant cloud flow and um, scheduled cloud flow. First we will discuss what is cloud flow. It allows the user to trigger the flow automatically, instantly and scheduled automated cloud flow by using this automated cloud flow we can create automation that is triggered by a selected event such as the greeting of a notification from a specific person when a file is created in a shared document library or when someone mentioned your company's name in social media and many more instant cloud flow as the name suggests, we will create an instant cloud flow that automates the process with a button tap and trigger the flow manually as needed. It allows the user to flow from mobile app or desktop such as we can create a reminder to the team or a group with a push button from the mobile app. Scheduled cloud flow. This flow is based on specified date and time or a specific time interval. It allows choosing when a, when and how often it runs such as daily data updates to the SharePoint or an Excel sheet or any database. Let's discuss what is desktop flow. As the name reference, we can automate the repetitive tasks on the web or the desktop. It allows the user to start making desktop flow based on RPA that means robotic process automation business process flow this flow is completely new to the flow family it can guide more than end user via a specified process to complete a multi-step assignments it is best for it is best for well organized tasks and processes for an organization process advisor it recently it added to the power automate it allows you to gain a better understanding of your business process so you can optimize them it offers task mining as well as process mining capabilities to do this let let's first we will create to let us create our first flow in uh, as automated cloud flow let's move to our move Let's see how to create an automated cloud flow in Power Automate. So here I just log in my user ID in Office 365 and go to that app launcher and open the Power Automate and SharePoint and Outlook because we will create a flow that will uh, that will uh, sending a notification when an item is created in SharePoint list. It will send notification via Outlook. So I just open that uh, Outlook and Power Automate and SharePoint application from the uh, my office, uh, Microsoft Office uh, 365 in App Launcher. Okay. To open this from here, just click on that ellipsis and open in new tab. It will open in new tab also. Let's move the Power Automate here. It will to create the automated flow go to that create section and click on that automated cloud flow in this for here we will give a name to our flow that is send an email notification when an item is created and before choosing a, a trigger uh, first we will create a SharePoint list in SharePoint site here I just created a sample SharePoint list that is task list it contains some columns like title assigned to start date and description uh, here the title is the default column that uh, and assigned to is a people picker column and start date is just a date and time column and description is just a uh, single line column okay let's move to our create a flow section okay here we will uh, choose uh, when an item is created in SharePoint. Okay, click on create. To create a flow, we have to choose 
a trigger first without trigger we cannot create a flow so click and create it will open the flow creation platform uh, here we will insert the site address site address is sonam so here it is my site address you can see that site address here this one is my site address of uh, my site name so here i just put my site address and list name is task list by using this process we can uh, retrieve the data or uh, we can interconnect the data from sharepoint to power automate then okay it's now we just customize our trigger then in click on new step here as we send an email notification when an item is created so we will uh, add an action here to send an email notification send an email so here it is coming send an email action uh, here we can provide anyone uh, email address or we can answer insert the dynamic content that dynamic content refer from the trigger here it is uh, assigned to email as this uh, as this uh, space is only for email address so it is showing the only the our email addresses uh, if we click on that assign to email it will dynamically send when an item is created to anyone a, if it is xyz person or you can insert anyone's email address manually also here we will insert uh, specify the subject email subject and body email subject um, let's uh, insert a email subject that is a new task has been assigned to you or a new task is created okay uh, in body let's specify the body using our dynamic content so uh, here hi the assignee person name assigned to display name here we can see the display name department or so many but let's display name then uh, there is a task has been assigned to you next uh, we just added i just added another sentence you have to start this task by uh, here we will insert the dynamic content start date thank you yes, sir, thank you okay now our flow is totally ready so we just save this flow once it is saved we will test it okay there uh, there is no error so it will come in as tick mark and also in green tag okay test it as we didn't uh, play this uh, play this flow or run this flow before so for we have to first do it manually test uh, to see the work now add a new list item to the sharepoint folder you selected okay let's go to that specified task list and uh, as uh, add a new item uh, for example uh, I'll add power automate automated flow automated cloud flow okay, it's just a sample title I have just add all the necessary all the important so, things okay. uh, here I will assign to myself let's take it. start it here start date is this next one yeah uh, you have to uh, start date is 27 for example I just put it and click on save once the item is created in the SharePoint list we will see and the email is scanned in my outlooks go to that outlooks okay let's come here uh, a task is created okay hi uh, this is my display name so it's coming as that like that and there is a ta new task has been assigned to you in task list you have to start this okay you can insert the your title also then let's go to that email uh, power automate section and let's see what is my yawn history as we can see my yes this one is successfully run that flow is run successfully and it is showing that tick mark also if you click on resubmit then it will that flow is running again and if you click on edit then you can do some modification on this flow here so as our flow is now successfully run so we just turn off 
if we click on turn off then it will when uh, someone uh, added some uh, data in tap, SharePoint task list, task list then it will not notify to that person because we just turn off that flow let's uh, let's see an example using turn off okay we just turn off this flow and go to that SharePoint list and added a new item here let's uh, okay uh, we will just SharePoint migration migration I just put insert uh, a little tie of whatever you want to you can just insert in title and description and assign to showman again and start it let's click on save so the item is created in the SharePoint list but we can see it is not coming to our outlook uh, the mess any no there is no email that came in our out, outlook or email notification so we can see the a new item is created in our SharePoint list but uh, as we turn up that flow so it is not uh, it is not sending any email notification to the to our message box next we will see how to uh, share this uh, flow to our another user or colleagues to share this flow there is a share option or you can go to this my flow of my flows and um, here this is our uh, flow so here it is share option is also there you can click on that or you can open that flow and go to that section and you can get that in turn off section you can get that share option uh, here we will just enter a name or emails to whom we want to share this uh, let's say i have a user i test user id so i will just put it uh, her name user 3 okay uh, i just give, give we just give us to that uh, permission so they can access now we can see uh, that uh, the user 3 also um, get a email uh, notification in their outlooks it will notify to the user 3 by that the, the flow is shared to them and this is when the user 3 this is the my user 3 email um, when the user 3 uh, click on that view flow it will redirect to the power automate page so from here the user 3 can can operate the flow and this is the whole process uh, to how to create the power automate flow cloud flow and then how to turn off that and also we will see that how to share this flow to another user to get more videos tutorial on sharepoint power bi power automate or power apps please subscribe our channel if you like my videos then like and share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you guys thank you for your time